I'm going to share with you how to uh, create a segmentation uh, ER lens uh, on Lens Studio. Okay, so let's start. So uh, today I will show you how to play around with the uh, existing uh, template. Then later on I will show you how to uh, start from scratch. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, so first uh, we click the segmentation uh, template and you can see the person and then you can see the background is moving. Okay, so there are so many cameras out there. And then uh, the uh, on the template, I believe there are a lot of functions there and make everything looks really smooth and beautiful. Uh, so yeah, so uh, all today as for a uh, template, we are going to uh, do the editing. Like if we click here and we click inspector and we can see like, okay, so um, uh, we pretty much play around with this. So segmentation texture will be here, segmentation textures. So what's segmentation? It means that we are having two different types of um, uh, segmentation. So for example, like a uh, portrait background segmentation, if we click this, you you will see that, okay, so we pretty much kind of mask out uh, the uh, portrait, yeah, the, the whole like background. So we can kind of see this, right? And then we can always like uh, invert it. So yeah, and we can change the feather of it. And portray hair segmentation is like this. We kind of mix, mask out. And then uh, we can uh, invert it. Yeah, and then you can see, yeah, you can pretty much see this type of function and shoulder. Okay, so we can kind of invert it as well. And face. Only face and see we can pretty much do this so there are so many uh, segmentation textures yeah sky will be uh, basically mask out the uh, kind of buildings and the sky which is pretty cool okay so um, today uh, as for template part we are going to manipulate all this part editing Okay, so as for this, uh, we can change to, um, okay, so what, okay, so what we want to do is probably uh, segmentation. We can change, for example, like a face segmentation. Let's see. Yeah, so you will show two face. And if you want to uh, edit this part, we go to face because we kind of, play around with the face part. So we go here and then see, okay, so this is the part that will show, right? And we kind of do, yeah. So <laughs> everything uh, except your face uh, will be covered by kind of like the background and you can play around with feathering, maybe like this, ooh, kind of scary. Okay, so we can play around with that. Then let's click. Uh, the segmentation controller and maybe we can change the color to blue yeah and then maybe color alpha we can change to a little higher yeah something like that right and we can change the heart into different textures for example like um, maybe we go back yeah like all effects alpha yeah i mean you can pretty much uh, make everything on your own so you can do types of like this or you don't want a tile it's like this if you want a tile uh, yeah and then uh, we can have like a scrolling and then like yeah scrolling the nikki yeah <laughs> really fast yeah, maybe, or maybe we can change the color. Yeah, I mean, you can totally 
change whatever you want and this is pretty cool okay so yeah we can also play around with like a, the background different background then we can have like a oh, some cool stuff yeah yeah you can pretty much having some fun with it and just see okay so yeah we can play around with yeah everything okay so this is kind of like the template you can play with it okay so let's start over because i know uh, you might have a lot of question why there are so many cameras right and uh, there are two types of cameras one is perspective another one is also graphic also graphic means that they flat everything like three dimension they squeeze the depth so it will look like a two dimension and yeah and then the normal perspective one perspective one will be more like a three dimension it has the z space yeah so later on i'm going to show you how to start over and create a segmentation one okay so don't save let's start over again okay so okay so let's do it okay so let's add a new project okay so right now uh, i kind of want to like video i like videos and yeah i think this girl is cool okay so let's add new uh, we are going to add a billboard why billboard we want everything looks like a flat and then has like two different layers so if you open like if you add a billboard then it will has a also graphic camera which means that everything will look flat like a billboard right so uh we go here and we kind of do like copy it and then first one we want to have a background second one we want to have a device camera device device uh the or segmentation okay <clears throat> so <coughs> let me import the uh, the assets you can go to uh, the assets I I get some cool uh, uh, textures from Shuttlestock okay so try again I, I really like the watermelon one, so <laughs> let's do the watermelon. So uh, th those are the resources that we are going to play. Imagine you are cooking something and those are all the materials, raw materials, and those are something that you are actually putting into your pot. Okay, so let's go to BG background. Okay, so this is the uh, background that we want to have. Uh, for the segmentation, we have the background and foreground, right? The foreground will be the, the person and the background will be the background, right? So the background, what we want to do is to put this watermelon on the background. Okay, so this is that and then we put the watermelon. Yeah, it's too small. So we do this. So this is the background. And what's the foreground? Foreground is the person, right? So we want it a lead. Want to be solid. Okay, so this white, this white, this, oh, ooh, this one, this white square will contain our, like, per, the person, right? Okay, so let's go to the material because this will be controlled by a lead material. Okay, so because this will be the camera, te uh, camera texture, so let's get to the, uh, this one. This one will be the device camera texture. 
Okay, so this will be that person. Okay, so and as for the opacity, we want to specifically like oh what what do you really need, right? So we go to blend more. We we use normal, and then that we get the opacity texture. So this texture we kind of want to have our segment like. Previously, we play around with template. I know it's a little complicated, but I mean, uh, uh, the camera texture will be uh, the whatever the camera detects, right? So the texture, for example, you take a picture and your camera, like the lens is shooting somewhere and when you click the, the button and then uh, you can kind of pretty much shot whatever the 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 lens see, right? So that's the texture. So we are doing this. So the texture is whatever the camera and it's the texture. Okay, it's a little yeah. Okay, so and then what's the opacity? What we wanna see? Okay, we wanna see the segmentation, we wanna see the portrait one. So this is yeah. Uh, whatever we really want to see. Okay, so go here. Ooh, this is actually this is pretty cool. Let me see myself in it. Ooh, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Okay, but we want to flip. <laughs> yeah, so basically it's totally the opposite. I want I want to flip it. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's flip it. Okay, so let's go to this one. Yeah. And then we flip it. Okay, so this is the right right one, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the one that we are looking for. Maybe feather? Last feather? Oh, oh. Maybe more feather? Let me see. Yeah, sometimes when you are moving, it's probably not really good of capturing. So, so this is, that's it. <laughs> this is how you can make a segmentation to separate yourself in the background. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.